Hello friends, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be showing some fan-made spooks. But before this video starts, I would like to ask if you could go down there and hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to me, and we are so close to 200 subscribers. Enough talking, and let's get into the video. For our first design of the video, it is made by Chris TV. Something I really liked that Chris did was the marbling on the bowling ball. So I tried my best to make the marbling look just as good. I also made my take on this spook, just changed it a little bit. That's about it. Meet Arachnosphere. It's the first poltergeist to be featured on this channel. It is stone and spooky, and its threat is medium. Arachnosphere used to be a normal hermit crab that was being watched by a pet sitter. They brought it to a bowling alley, not realizing it escaped its enclosure until it was squashed by a bowling ball. In the afterlife, it inhabits the very ball that caused its demise. All right, its time most active is evenings, and it's based on spiders, bowling balls, and hermit crabs. Basically, hermit crabs inhabit shells, just like how poltergeists inhabit objects. And its rarity is rare. Again, thanks for Chris for submitting this design and helping me with the facts. Let's get into our next spook. This next design is made by Adenator. Just like the last spook, I didn't really change much. I just put it in my style. Meet Masker Blade, Faction, Onryo, Element, Darkness, and Metal. Her threat level is low. This spook was a normal schoolgirl until she got roped into a cult and sacrificed. Now in the afterlife, she wanders, seeking those who wronged her to get her revenge. Time most active, anytime, based on schoolgirls. Rarity, one of a kind. All right, and that's all the spooks for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you again, Chris and Adenator, for your entries. And I hope you liked how they turned out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky.